good day and welcome to a new video on forts hope you're doing well today i'll be sharing 10 helpful tips for experienced and intermediate players of forts um, i believe i can now properly uh, share my opinion uh, for players that okay just got out of the beginner range and or just experienced forts from just playing it or the intermediate and then when i get better so and I believe I'm able to give some advice to those players. Um, a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of people in the community tell me this, 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 and this, and this, and this, this. I hope it was just all perfect, but it isn't. Anyways, uh, on this lobby, um, we're just going to set up the AI um, to a deathmatch AI. So me and AI versus one eight, uh, two AI, AIs on this map. I'm going to be playing uh, a different commander this time, not an easy commander. Um... Let's say, for an example, Pinch Fist. Pinch Fist, that's a good commander. Yes. Anyways, I'm going to be on Team 2 side. So, anyways. Alright, let's begin. The first tip for experienced and intermediate players in forts. Sandbags for windmills. Yeah. Sandbags for windmills. What do you mean, sandbags for windmills? It was very simple. And I've done this a lot. Here's what you do. Just just look at this. Just have to watch and learn. Place the windmills here? Oh, of course, it give them, you know... Turn this wood in the background bracing first. Oh, my mistake. And there we go. Now sure, sandbags are vulnerable to miniguns, but they give you some slight protection against anything else, you know. They're not perfect against uh, 20 mils or cannons, um, but they're effective against lasers though. So, if you have the time, just place down a simple couple of sandbags to find your windmills and voila. I'm going to place them down here just to show you again, and always sell the gunner. I'm going to place my tech down first. I'll be trying to play a bit of intermediate this time. Uh, just for those players out there. Um, but since I'm making a video tutorial thingy like that. Well, yeah, I've got to concentrate. Two things at once. Okay, windmills. Like this. Like so. And I'm sure that the pro players, they do something else with their windmills. I don't know if I want to make a video on that. I might have to get some suggestions from the really good players. But we'll see. Just pop the sandbag like that. Like that. There we go. Looking good. Anyways, the second tip is to sell the metal early. Now, in some scenarios, you could have been, uh, you know, as they call it, SimCity. Or you just placed in enough... Uh, Windmill saw. I mean, yeah, you need a couple, but then you place a mine down, and then you don't have enough eco, or you know, for your, for the tick. So what you do is always sell this door. You can also sell this metal too, and place down your secondary tick. That could be the upgrade center, ammunitions plant, or the factory. Or if you want, you could also place down the the armory in the upgrade center and get the the group combo called the hybrid. If you didn't know. So I'm going to place down a missions plan. And honestly I'm not spamming one. Anyways, I have a video. Uh, explain 10 tips for new players. For beginners. Uh, sh it should be showing up on the screen. Annotation, something like that. On the top right. If you want to see that, just click. Just go to that video. If you're new to thoughts. Anyways. Uh, next tip. Uh, wood spam for protection. Yes. Because I can already hear players already disagreeing with me about selling the metal. Yes, because of buzz saws. Because in the Moonshot DLC, there are buzz saws and they could buzz saw wood. And there's a particular commander called Scattershot that has six buzz saws, but everything else is just four. So, I mean, that's if your opponent has buzz saws, but you just place enough wood protection like this, and voila. Like even for your minds, don't forget your minds. If you lose your minds, it's uh, bad news bears. 
But yeah, just some wood protection like this. There's also another way for different... You could also do it like this for different types of bases, whatever suits you best. I mean, don't get too addicted to this because they also cost metal tea. But look at this. This nice protection here. You're getting better at forts. Anyways, next tip. Uh, use smaller doors. Now, I've got the, my munitions plan built already. And I'm going to place down a cannon. This will be fun. I already did the thing. Whoops. Okay, so what players usually do is just place down a, you know, a cannon right here. And they place down really, really big doors. I mean, why would you want to go for such a big door? I mean, sure, you could aim higher in different spots and may not be able to. Uh, but for long range maps, um, I mean, maps like this. You want to aim upwards, and it's always better to make, for example, something like this. Watch and learn. This is the thing that most of the players do already, but just to show you, and just in case players don't know, you do this. And as I don't have enough for a kid I'm going to place a town of 20 mil instead. Voila, you're paying less metal for the doors, and you got some wood protection. It, you could even place down uh, sandbag, like right here. Like this! Protection! Look at that! Anyways, next tip. Cell tech. Now, you could be like, hmm, I might want to improve on my resources or I could just upgrade them, you know? So, why not just sell this tech because I'm not going to be using any of the weapons provided from this tech that it enables, I mean, enables. I'm just going to sell it and replace it with the upgrade setup. Why not? Because then you can upgrade if you want. Hmm. My base is flashing red there. I'm going to place some, some ropes down. It's not part of the tip store, but this is a bit of an extra, a bonus. If your base is just red on a base like this, just put some, you know, some ropes down and, and you're golden. And my tree is built. Anyways, next tip. Place more storage. Uh, you may be somewhat from the middle game to the to the end game, and y y your base has so many weapons by now, and you may be floating a resources a lot because you have so much mines and, and windmills. So you may want to place down, I don't know, an extra metal store, an extra battery, just so you don't run into power issues. Because once you fire your weapons, you keep like. Oh, I don't have much power. Might as well just place some more production. No, it's the storage. Remember the storage, you can place more down if you have the room for it. That's simple. And now, you won't be refilling our resources. Now it's going up. You can place more down. <laughs> Anyways. Looks like my... AI teammate is doing a good job against these other AIs. Next tip. Pay attention to your opponent. Now what I mean by that is, uh, well you're going to be watching your opponent. Uh, of course if you're playing ranked, uh, that's if you play ranked, you'll be watching your opponent a lot. You don't know who your opponent is, it may be a good player or bad player. But just watch what they're doing. Because then, in some cases, they could be like, Ugh, I don't know if this, uh, my opponent knows I'm going to place a whole bunch of buzzsaws, or he won't see this. Things like that. Just, just watch out. They can go for an early rocket spam, a minigun spam, anything like that. If you see your opponent setting up something like this, well then you know they're probably going for cannons, or 20 mils, or houses. Just to show you the how to. Same thing, you just build it up like this. 
voila. Now, of course, it's not the perfect build, but this is just for video purposes. You want to improve this so <laughs> The next tip is wait for door snipe opportunities. So what I mean by that is hmm your opponent could be firing a weapon or you know where the doors are like here. There's a door here and a door here. There's a opponent here. So I'm going to wait for it to open. I don't see any doors but I know where they are. And assuming that I might be accurate enough with the cannon, I could open... I could fire at a door that's open. But I'm gonna wait and see. Waiting for the next shot from the AI. It's open, I fire the cannon. Hey, look at that. The opportunity. You fire the cannon at the door that was open and you destroy the weapon behind it. And for some reason, as their phantom, I can see the flames spreading across the base. Anyways. Next tip. Expand the offensive. If you have resources sitting around, or even though you have a lot of resources in, in store, you could always just paste in an extra weapon or two, you know? I mean... I mean, don't do it if you can see your base flashing. You know, but if there's extra spots that support it, you know, like for an example, maybe up here. You could bid out this way, the support of these ropes, and then place down something here. It's not the best though, not for video purposes. Expand the offensive. If you have the time, safe ability, and the resources for it, go for it. Overwhelm your opponent. Anyways, also, a bonus tip as well, as we're pinch fist, this commander allows for increased mine productivity and turbine productivity by 5%. And when you reclaim metal, or sell metal, you get 100% of it. And when it's active, the weapon only requires half the original cost. The next and final tip is don't insult your opponent. Learn from your mistakes instead. Let's say in a scenario where, okay, you lost due to defeat because your opponent used a good strategy, you know, and you may get mad or feel like you have a reason to insult your opponent or don't do that. Instead, Realize what happened and then just quit the game and look back if you were recording and just check What you did wrong and you know, and let's say as I make videos people tell me that the things I do and I can improve on basically And maybe you could take that idea and improve on thoughts that way. Anyways those were my 10 tips for um, players uh, experienced or intermediate um, hopefully, hopefully they are helpful it may improve your thoughts experience um, these are all just made up by me uh, they're just basically my opinion and um, you know, they're not the best because uh, people will say or they will disagree on stuff but you know these are not official you know these are not meant to help players or Russian ranked or help pros, you know. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if it helped. Write in the comments, share your opinion, and I shall see you next time in another video. So until then, have a good day.